another spring trend video. I can't believe how fast time flies, but I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite wearable spring trends for this year. Now, what I love about this year's spring trends are that things are coming back in very classic styles. So I'm loving this comeback of people spending more money on quality item. And I find that people are leaning more towards basic pieces that will stand the test of time. The first trend that I'm loving is casual suiting. And first off, this is my first example where I am pairing this outfit with a plain white waistcoat with jeans. And I really love the juxtaposition of pairing a waistcoat with jeans because I feel like it does switch things up a little bit. I feel like a lot of people do tend to pair waistcoats with more formal pants and I love the juxtaposition of the suiting with the casualness of the jeans. I also paired this with a maxi skirt and I also really love the look of this as well. I think that denim skirts are a great way to look elevated but also inject a little bit of casual vibes with the denim material. Now this next look over here, I kind of made a twist of office wear shoes by pairing it with these fun white socks. And these socks are definitely very Gen Z inspired, but I really like how this just creates more of a casual vibe by utilizing what you have in your wardrobe. So I really love just putting on socks of heels. I feel like that's a very cute look and something that is very wearable as well. Sometimes when it gets really hot and sweaty, your feet starts to rub against the shoe and you get lots of blisters. So wearing socks with heels is actually a great way to avoid blisters. My last example here, I am pairing this Mimi bralette top with a blazer vest. And I feel like the juxtaposition is really nice because you wouldn't really expect to pair a bralette top with a suiting like this one. So it really goes back to the idea of really pulling elements of suiting and make it a little bit more wearable and less office-like. I love the casualness of this, but yet there's still a smartness and a elevated look with the blazer vest. Now the next trend that I've been loving is the idea of three-dimensional florals or floral appliques. And I have been loving this trend for many, many years. I feel like Zimmerman really did put this on the spot about two years ago. And this one here is a floral dress that I bought a year ago, but I still feel like it's very wearable for today's trends. And I, and I do think that the silhouette of this dress is not very trend focused, but I can definitely see myself wearing this for years to come. And I really love the sleeves. I do think that it just kind of creates more coverage on the top part and then it cinches in at the waist and flares out on the waist. It's just a very classic cut that really fits my body shape as well. Now here's another example of this butterfly dress also from Zimmerman about two years ago. And although it is not floral, I do love the three-dimensional quality that this dress has with the butterflies on the chest and also on the sleeves. I do think it creates a very dramatic look, but also it is a very unique look as well. So when I'm shopping for dresses like this, I'm looking for interesting elements that I find really cute and interesting that is not as much as a basic item, but it's definitely an item that gives me joy and I feel really happy wearing it all the time. Now this next dress here is a wreath, not really a reason fine, but I got it about three months ago. And this dress here is three-dimensional florals. It's great for any brides to be. I feel like it's a very casual rehearsal day vibe dress that you can wear. I really love the florals on this. And I like how it is off the shoulder. It's a mini dress, really cute as well. Perfect for spring. Now, Magda Bertham has been dominating this idea of floral appliques, and I am loving this Magda Bertham black floral top. I feel like it is really, really interesting looking. It kind of like 
reveals all of the right places and it just hugs the figure really well. I feel like she is a designer that, that knows the female form really well and when you wear it, it just makes you feel really really sophisticated but not revealing too much skin at the same time. I also do think that florals are coming back in the form of earrings, especially bridal accessories. I really love this one that I recently got from Jennifer Beer and she does really really amazing three-dimensional floral earrings and I just feel like these things are kind of like a work of art on your ears and it just gives a little bit of sparkle and it just elevates the look and I love it. My last example here is a dress from Oscar de la Renta. This is a hydrangea print dress and I really like how it's very different from the other kind of florals that I've seen in the past which are a little bit smaller and daintier. This one is just more of a graphic print and I feel like Oscar de la Renta never fails with bringing out prints that are very very much in the now rather than you know replicating things that have been done before so I really love the prints of this dress here and I think it is really appropriate for springtime now my next trend is cropped cardigans or crop jackets and I think Celine has done this so well and I am loving this Celine green jacket that I got and I just think it is a very classic piece to have. I really love the double breasted situation over here and I also think that it looks very modern as well. I love pairing this with ballet flats and I think that this is just the perfect combination. I also have another crop cardigan and this one is from Love Shack Fancy. I love wearing this in the springtime because of the colors. I feel like the pastel colors are perfect and when paired with my Chanel pink tweed, it really is the perfect combination. And lastly, my last example here is a striped cardigan from Celine as well. And I think that this is a very simple, understated cardigan that I can wear for many years to come. My next trend here is a denim on denim look. I love a full Canadian tuxedo look and this is definitely coming back. And I do think it's a very easy way to make any look super casual and also something that is very comfortable too. I'm definitely not someone that loved denim in the past because I would always opt for dresses and pants but lately I've been loving the look of denim and this one here is a denim on denim look I paired it with a denim jacket just to make it a little bit more of that Canadian tuxedo look and then if this is a little bit too much for you I've also switched up this pants with white jeans so that you can kind of see that it has lightened up the look a little bit and it makes it look a little bit more fresh and I, I really love all the textures together. Now this season we have also seen denim in the form of accessories. This one here is a Chanel ballet flat in the classic style but it has a twist with the interesting texture with the denim. I'm also loving seeing a lot of handbags in the, in the denim material and I find that it just creates a very relaxed look to any outfit. last trend here are skirts and I love wearing skirts. I have mentioned this before but I really didn't really love wearing jeans growing up because it was just way too hot in Singapore and I would always be wearing skirts. So now that the weather is warming up, I am very excited to be bringing out all of my denim skirts. So this season, we have seen that skirt lengths are really extreme. You either have mini skirts or maxi skirts. And this one here is from Miu Miu and I love teaming this up with a oversized bomber jacket. I feel like that just gives a really nice contrast. You get a really, really mini tiny skirt contrasting it with a really masculine fit on the top and then I just paired it with some knee-high boots just to cover up a little bit more skin 
This second example here is a maxi skirt from Kate and I also really love teaming this up with a oversized jacket. I feel like the shape of this jacket is really nice for a really like column like skirt that goes really straight down. So you kind of do need some kind of volume on the top to create more of a balance to the eye. Welcome to the end of the video. Let me know which trend you loved and let me know if you want to see a part two of this video where I sell up a few more spring trends for you guys. If you like this video, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will link more selling videos up here for you guys to watch. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!